Hello, welcome to Nutritional Perspective. This is Trilok. I'm a dietitian. In this video, we will discuss hypothyroidism and its nutritional management. Hypothyroidism is when the thyroid hormone levels are too low. In urban India, it affects 1 in 10 adults and it is more common in women than men. Hypothyroidism can cause symptoms such as fatigue, weight gain, dry skin, hair fall, mood swings and depression. It can also cause cognitive issues like brain fog, difficulty concentrating and memory issues. And the risk for heart disease is much higher as the cholesterol levels are elevated in hypothyroidism. In women, it can cause infertility, miscarriages and complications during pregnancy. These symptoms are very elusive. You might think they are caused by a poor diet, lack of exercise or stress. In many cases, patients suffer from these symptoms for years before they are diagnosed with hypothyroidism. All you need to do is check the levels of T3, T4 and TSH in the blood. Let's see how the thyroid hormone is produced. Production starts with a signal called thyrotropin releasing hormone or TRH from the hypothalamus, which triggers the production of thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH in the pituitary gland, which tells your thyroid gland to start making thyroid hormones T3 and T4. In hypothyroidism, we know the thyroid hormone levels are low. The pituitary gland attempts to increase thyroid hormone production by elevating TSH levels. The normal level of TSH is 0.4 to 4.5 milliunits per liter. Anything above this level is considered hypothyroidism. Sometimes an elevated TSH can overstimulate the thyroid gland, leading to an enlargement known as a goiter. Let's look at the inside of the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland contains a protein called thyroglobulin on which the thyroid hormone is assembled, an enzyme called thyroid peroxidase which attaches iodine to tyrosine to make the thyroid hormones T3 and T4. These hormones are then released into the bloodstream. Once hypothyroidism is confirmed, your doctor might put you on hormone replacement therapy. Till when? In most cases, for life. Okay, let's understand how hypothyroidism develops. If the issue lies within the thyroid gland, it is called primary hypothyroidism. Central hypothyroidism is when there is a fault either with the pituitary gland where the TSH is coming from or with the hypothalamus where the TRH is coming from, usually because of a tumor or injury. Let's look at the primary hypothyroidism. In the developed world, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is the most common form of hypothyroidism, which is autoimmune in nature. The immune system can mistakenly attack both thyroglobulin and thyroid peroxidase enzyme resulting in development of antibodies. You can lower the antibodies and improve the thyroid function with thyroid medication, some vitamin and mineral supplements, but Hashimoto's thyroiditis is permanent. In underdeveloped countries, iodine deficiency is the leading reason for hypothyroidism because most of the agricultural soil is iodine deficient. The best way to get iodine is by consuming iodized salt. That's why various governments made the decision to add iodine to table salt. You need about 200 micrograms of iodine on a daily basis to avoid iodine deficiency anemia. This is reversible unlike Hashimoto's. Some women might develop a condition called postpartum thyroiditis which is an inflammation of the thyroid gland that lasts 6 to 9 months. It might disappear on its own and this is often the reason for postpartum depression. You need to remember factors like genetics, smoking, alcohol consumption, drugs and infections also play important role in thyroid disease development. Let's see what nutrients are required for optimal thyroid function. Iodine, iron and copper are crucial for thyroid hormone production. Iron deficiency anemia can significantly lower T3 and T4 levels and iron supplements should be taken only after 2 hours of thyroid medication. Coming to the thyroid hormones T3 and T4, T4 has 4 iodine atoms and is inactive. In the liver and kidneys, enzymes called deiodinases remove one iodine atom from T4 to convert it to T3, which is the biologically active form of thyroid hormone. For this conversion, you need selenium and zinc. Selenium deficiency also makes the thyroid gland susceptible to an immune system attack. Studies show that 200 micrograms of selenium supplementation improves thyroid function and also lowers antibody levels. Another important factor to consider is the gut thyroid axis. About 20% of T4 is converted to the active T3 within the diastole tract. Gut enzymes like intestinal sulfatase produced by the microbes converts T4 to T3. Also, probiotic strain lactobacillus ruteri has been shown to improve T4 levels. 
So maintaining a healthy gut helps you reduce the fluctuations in thyroid hormone levels, improves the immune system stability and enhances uptake of all nutrients. Also, you need to keep oxidative stress under control by consuming antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, zinc and vitamin A. So here is the conclusion. Keep the gut healthy with fiber and probiotic foods or supplements if necessary. Focus on whole grains, fruits and vegetables. Many hypothyroid patients have non-celiac gluten sensitivity, so you can try a gluten-free diet and see if that helps. Healthy fats from flax seeds, hemp hearts, olive oil are beneficial. Avoid fried food and limit your saturated fat consumption. Avoid raw soy and cruciferous vegetables such as cabbage, broccoli, even when cooked, limit the consumption. Lose excess weight. The heavier you are, the more thyroid medication you need. Target 23 to 25 BMI without central obesity. Keep an active lifestyle, 30 minutes of exercise at least 4 days a week. Focus on getting 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per kg of your ideal body weight. Do not overdo protein. 8 hours of sleep, stress management and check with your doctor or nutritionist for supplement recommendations. Make sure your iron, vitamin D3 and B12 levels are healthy. Thank you for watching Nutritional Perspective. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video.